Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what you are looking at are the challenges, the camouflage challenges for the Howitzer Grenade Launcher. I am going to go through the requirements for the Howitzer and then I'm going to show you the gameplay in which I landed this bad boy right here the gold camo for this launcher now in my opinion I think the gold camos are ass in this game it's very underwhelming stupid pattern on it this is just made it gold like Treyarch does but that's besides the point I'm gonna show you the gameplay in which I got this shit gold and even though I go 32 and 16, which is probably nothing to really be proud of, when you see just how fucking difficult it is to use this weapon, you may feel a little bit differently. So let's go into it first. Desert, Mars, Arctic Tech, Wilderness. You have to get 50, 100, 150, 200 kills with this weapon to get these four camouflages. At that point, you then get access to, in this order, Mojave at 20, Snakeskin at 40, Salamander at 60, Splatter at 100, and 160 for the Zebra. We're talking about impact kills here, which you actually have to strike your victim. Once you complete Mojave, you get access to the Autumn Challenge, where you have to get two rapid kills five times. After you unlock Snakeskin, you get access to the Whiteout Challenge, in which you have to kill 50 enemies while you have no primary weapon equipped. So it's basically just you and the three shots that this shit gives you. And you know, Godspeed, motherfucker. After completing Salamander, you get access to the Bengal, which you have to destroy 15 score streaks. After Splatter, you get murdered out. You have to get uh, 30 kills on enemies that are far away from you. And after Zebra, you have Neon Tiger. Use this weapon to kill three enemies without dying 20 times. 20 separate. Doing this, you get the gold camouflage. But I'm going to explain to you guys why I think that doing this challenge was a combination of AIDS and cancer. You can call it CADES, or you can call it aids or something. Yeah, okay. So, first of all, trying to get the 200 kills with this took forever because everybody is aiming at you with MV4s and K-bars and ERADs, and you are trying to place a grenade shell with the explosion radius of maybe a small coin uh, definitely no larger than a quarter so there are times where someone has their ass rubbing up against the wall because you know how these cowards get down right you put the grenade right on the wall next to their neck and there's no hit marker there's no damage you see this huge explosion but the explosion is mainly for show or to alert the camper in the corner that they are under attack. Doesn't actually do any damage most of the time. Then you move on to the direct impact. As stated, this weapon is very unreliable. You just don't know. So there are times when you get a kill, you think it was an impact because the explosion happens pretty high up and they don't fucking count it. Uh, so getting into the rapid kills, this one, in the grand scheme of things, when you can pair it to the other challenges, is really not that difficult because, especially when you go to do the challenges in the game mode that I did most of these in, which was Drop Zone for the week that it was available, which was last week, you do get clusters of people running out together, trying to grab care packages or whatever. So the only thing you really have to do is throw some shots out there. And getting two rapid kills five times is really not that difficult. The time between trigger pulls is not really that bad. So this wasn't so horrible. 
Whiteout. Kill 50 enemies while you have no primary. Yeah, that's going to be great for my KD ratio, right? Uh, I got my ass reamed trying to get this one done. You have to destroy 15 score streaks. Now, most of the aerial streaks, you have no option. You're not going to shoot down a UAV like the other two launchers because the fucking shell doesn't reach that high. But occasionally, it will go as high as it would take to hit um, the Warden. The problem with that is it takes six or more hits with this shit to take down a Warden. But they only give you three fucking shots. So the Warden, for the most part, is out of the question. You can hit a Scarab with that, but good fucking luck when you don't know whether it's going to count the hit or not. So when the Scarab comes towards you, 99 times out of 100, you're getting blown the fuck up. Shock Sentry. Now, this one is probably one of the easier ones because it only takes all three shots, direct impact, to take down a Shock Sentry. But do you really think the enemy is going to let you just stand there and shoot it? Uh, no. The Drone Package. In most game modes, in fact, all the game modes that are currently available now that Drop Zone is gone... You are probably not going to get a chance to shoot that down. There are too many variables and motherfuckers camping on it because, you know, they need to protect their drone package. The chances you're going to get that done are slim to none. I got this done shooting down uh, enemy drone packages in that were called inside buildings in drop zone. So there are a couple of spots in the hard points where the hard point is on the inside. So when... The drone package is called in. It has to snake its way through some hallways. If you catch that motherfucker slipping, you catch him sleeping in the streets, then you can shoot it down semi-easily. But then again, you have five or six people waiting on that package. Chances are you're going to get fucking killed before you get a chance to shoot that shit down. Another kill-death ratio murderer. AIDS. Murdered out. Killed 30 enemies from long range. Why is this AIDS? Why is this cancer? Why is this hepatitis C? Because they don't fucking tell you when you get a long range kill with this shit. With every other weapon in the game. They actually tell you. They say, hey, you've got a long kill. And then you know, okay, I got one of the 30 kills needed to complete this challenge. Just like with the direct impacts, they don't tell you shit. So you're left wondering at the end of a game that you just went 15 and 28 that maybe you might have gotten one or two. Unless you know that you really shot it across the map, which is hit or miss because guess what? I've already said the weapon's unreliable. Moving on to Neon Tiger. Use this weapon to kill three enemies without dying 20 times. They only give you three shots. Three. So you have to make sure that you kill a single enemy with a perfectly placed shell each and every time before you run out of ammunition or a little hit tips and tricks from Dr. Evil. You can put on... Uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, the combat rig. You can put on Synaptics Rewind. Rewind your position and replenishes health and ammunition. This is the only way that you can replenish the ammunition of the howitzer without taking a dirt nap first. The only way. You can't use Scavenger. You can't use any of the other things that refill your clips or... You know, tac you know, tactical or lethals. You can't use those loopholes. You're pretty much fucked, right? That's the only option that you have there. So I use that. You know, I had a rule. If I didn't get at least one kill, I would not use my rewind the first time because then I'm stuck in the same fucked up position I was in without rewind, which is you only get three shots. So I made sure I killed one or two guys first with the first set of three shots they give you before using rewind and going to hunt for that next one. So this was a very, very difficult challenge. It was a challenge that I did not feel like streaming. 
or getting any gameplays of, but after a while, I started to get some pretty beast gameplays. 2.0 KDs and higher is, you know, my requirement for a beast gameplay with a horrible weapon like the Howitzer. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the gameplay in which I got it gold. I go 32 and 16, I believe, in this game. And when you see how I play this, you might think, damn, I hope that guy was wearing some fucking deodorant. That was fucking sweaty ass gameplay. I know I'm going to get called a, I know I'm going to get called a sweat. I'm going to send this video to JD. He's going to call me a sweat. Vex is going to call me a sweat. In the comments section, I want everybody to tell me what they think of this gameplay. And you can use the hashtag camo sweat, gold camo sweat, solar camo sweat, whatever. I don't, I don't give a fuck. But let me know if you think that I've become a sweaty ass tryhard. Alright now, smart. before I talk about this how it's a gameplay on Genesis... I want to first apologize for the crappy recording quality. I don't know what's wrong with my Elgato Game Capture HD 60 Pro. Don't know what's wrong with it, but I've been getting some skipping uh, in the video. In the first part of the video, you definitely heard my voice skipping, and you will see some lost video footage. But here is this Howard to gameplay here on Genesis as stated and you've already seen an example of what I was talking about before with how unreliable this weapon is and you know I have to say that I really did feel because I, I, I think what actually happened when this game happened I think what made this game possible is that before I played this because I think today is Tuesday I did this gameplay on Saturday Saturday I worked with a couple of clients in the gym, and then I went to another gym to work with my first wife and uh, another client. And, you know, we work out together, so I was working on heavy deadlift, heavy bench press, and I did some isolation work uh, on the triceps. More about that fitness shit another time. But I, for the first time in ages, I took a pre-workout that had, you know, vitamin B6, B12. I had some caffeine in there and some beta alanine. I fucking hate beta alanine. In the comments section, those who lift weights, you tell me the effect that beta alanine has on you guys. But anyway, so I'm hopped up on these fucking stimulants. And I guess you could say it's a fitness guy's uh, version of G Fuel. And I get on the game after I got home because I just really wanted to get this challenge done. And I went ham like six or seven games in a row and just destroying fools uh, score wise. So you guys are seeing, yeah, the weapon is not very reliable, but when you do get a kill, it is very satisfying. Boom, right in his fucking face, right? So I find myself stuck in a lot of situations because in the beginning, this game was very difficult. Didn't really feel like my teammates were helping all that much. And as you watch this game, you'll see in this kill confirm match, most of this game, I think almost all of this game, the, the spread was no more than like maybe five or six. There goes a skip. Again, sorry about that, people. The spread was no, no more than like maybe five or six tags. So the game was tight all the way through. So... You know, they have their share of tryhards. Me, I'm trying my fucking hardest because I'm hopped up on fucking pre-workout stimulant that was left over from my workout because I think it's, what I took was pretty potent. And I'm not used to taking pre-workout. I normally try to generate my own energy and my own strength. Uh, but I want to get big. I want to get strong quicker than I have been. So now I'm taking some creatine, drink a lot of water, eating more food. And now I'm taking weightlifting crap, I guess you could say. So, uh, you can see that I'm starting to time my shots uh, pretty well, but it's, again, it's so fucking hit or miss. And it's very frustrating and it's very nerve wracking because once you do get one kill and you know that you've got your rewind ready to go, 
You know, you have to be very fucking careful. So I'm trying to jump out of the way. I'm trying to keep the enemy on their heels, so to speak, mentally. So that he can't really have a, an easy time aiming at me so I get a chance to get these kills. So there are kills that I don't expect to get. But then there are kills that I do wholly expect to get. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Why is that? So, I really hope that you guys, I can see at this point, we're down by four tags. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to be a little bit more careful because I really do feel like... Uh, I really do feel like I have a chance to do some good work in this game because I was getting into a good flow. But, you know, we were losing the game for a while. Get this nasty double kill that would have counted if I didn't complete that challenge earlier. But, that's a rarity. To get a double kill with one shell, that doesn't happen very often with the Howitzer. Huh. So, uh, another thing that I, that I have kind of taken away from the experience using the Howitzer is even if you are not confident with a certain shot with any weapon, go ahead and take the motherfucking shot because you just don't know if you're going to hit the intended target or if you're going to hit your teammate afterwards. So, the guy kills me, throw my body off the fucking roof, fell out of the map. There's a couple of funny ass deaths uh, in this game. Uh, and there are just a couple of shots where I just feel just on point. Uh, we're getting towards the nitty gritty. It's the last five, I think there's like four minutes and 45 seconds left. And we're still down. So, uh, at this point when I was playing, I was not really aware of what the score was. But I was aware that I went into the game only needing two or three, three kill streaks, separate kill streaks, with the howitzer to get it gold. So, uh, but at the, you know, I'm all hopped up on fucking weightlifting track. So. You can see that my re reaction time is much better than when you guys watch me stream. And my aim was uh, actually pretty decent because at the same time I was working on the OSA. And anybody that's used the OSA, e even in hardcore, uh, it, the, the recoil on this weapon is so maddening that you, you, any from mid to long range, you just have no fucking chance. You can jump around the map. Uh, it doesn't matter because the weapon is weak and it's uh, the recoil is just crazy. Um, that little ring around the rosy move I just made, I didn't even know you could do that. So I was just winging it. <laughs> so, you know, now I'm starting to place my shots like a G. And, uh, you know, still down by a couple of tags. And, you know, I was trying to time the rewind so that I didn't rewind back into somebody's bullets that happened to me a couple of games prior to this. So, I was just like, I'm not going to let that happen again. So, I tried to make sure that I ended up in a safe place when I did the rewind. Because nothing is more frustrating than getting that second kill. You do your rewind and then you rewind right into the barrel of somebody else's gun. So... Um, now, I think at this point I knew I was hot and I knew that the game was close. I think right about now. So I was trying to make the smartest plays that I could. You know, I was trying to channel my inner Mark of J or my inner Justin Slayer or what have you, you know, exclusive ace, however you want to put it. And then I get this critical, critical snatching of the tags that gets us to leave. Uh, that we would not relinquish. So, uh, adrenaline is pumping, everything's cool, and um, some teammate kills this guy, and then watch how this happens. Oh, bitch! <laughs> Howard's a camo for the gold. I was like, oh, fucking shit. I get the clutch for the gold. Um, I really do carry the team here. Um, I think that <laughs> this gameplay is definitely worth a like rating. Uh, I thank you guys for watching and for those guys going for solar. I hope that you don't have a horrible time.
with this like I did. And you know what the greatest part about this is? I don't ever have to use this shit ever again.